so welcome to Bunny's Designs. Um, this is a Monday extra stream for YouTube and Ustream. So welcome to Bunny's Designs. Um, I'm going to do another page in my Colin Thompson Fantastique. So I've zoomed right in and I've got my three riggers, the long thin paintbrushes and there's a, a three zero, a three and a number one. And what that does is that gives me enough dampness to really have a nice edge on the book. I can then go in with some finer detail and then the fine one is for the really tiny, tiny spaces because there are a lot of tiny spaces in this book. And that allows me to practice with some quite nice pen, pen, pen work, uh, sorry, paintbrush work. So I've wet the paintbrushes, but I'm drying them off on a baby wipe because I don't want them too wet. Uh, I did get that a little bit wet down here and I, I, I kind of dripped it off, but never mind. Oh, what I was going to do is very quickly, I'll just show you what I've done so far. It seems I've uh, zoomed in. And I'll take my glasses off, so do tell me if I'm not in frame. Oh, do it, excuse me. I had a coffee this morning and it's really upset me. I should know better. Um, so... If I don't make you too sick, this was the first page. No, I can't do it like that, can I? Seem to have got lots of things all over the desk now. Just move my paintbrush. Seem to have got lots of things on the floor now as well. Not a good idea. Right, so sorry about that. Let me go that way. So, so that was one of the first pages. Um, put my glasses on. I can see. If anyone's got any questions, pop them in caps. This is a live stream with live peoples and uh, people asking questions and things. So, nobody wants to know anything. trying to keep in frame so I've, I've got some quite nice muted colors I thought it lent itself to some colors and uh, that was another little page the continuity is the the brown it's traditional watercolor and um, burnt umber and then I've obviously used uh, gone over for, again with some more detail for some darker patches because there's lots of things happening in this book and um, there's a gentleman there climbing. Uh, there's light bulbs, lit light bulbs. All oh, they're about all about books about light. And um, tried not to look at um, the original colours, but um, because I wanted to use my own. So the colours are a little bit different, but they're not far apart have to say that's not too bad and um, there's another page and what I've done is basically so I call it a page I mean a section of picking them off as I go along that's what I'm doing the only thing with like with most books is the spine here so I did that I did these outside yesterday and because I've been bearing down on this, because it's the first page of the book that's attached to the cover, I've just torn it. So be a bit careful. Um, what you could do is to pull that right back straight away and then that's floppy and it's gone right back because it's curved. Because obviously it's a book and it wants to sit like this. It wants to sit like that. It does not want to sit like this. Um, but you know, it's a coloring book. It's 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 not a work of art as such. It's just a practice for colors, and that's what I'm trying to do is just to have fun with it. So I've got my little book of colors, which I love. I'm mainly using uh, Derwent watercolor pencils that I scribbled onto squares in my book because I find that's the better 
just bear with me two seconds. Oh, I need to read those. What I'll try and do is say the number. And then I'm using round the edge. I'm still having a bit of a practice. Because although I don't want to be too precious with this, I, I don't want to muck it up. I'd hate to do lots of nice books and then do a vivid green somewhere in the wrong place. So I'm going to leave that one because they're at a funny angle. So I'm going to start with this one. And um, these are all about children then, aren't they? So that's a pram for all seasons, 101 inoculations, the valley of the dollies. Um, it's all a play on words, all the books. So it's, it's very clever, very clever. So I will get rid of the little mouse. I will pop this nearer to me, purely on the basis that I'm running out of space. So the paint, the, the camera is um, the paintbrush away from the paintbrush away. So if you hear some tapping, you know, it's me just catching the camera, so I'm sorry. So I've got a damp baby wipe. So I've wet the paintbrush and then I've stroked it flat and twisted it to a point. Twist it slowly to a point. And that's going to give me a lot of dampness here, but not too wet. And then I can get some colour on the end. Um, as I say, I've mainly gone with those colours, but ju just yesterday I was in the garden and I kind of went back to my old ways of flicking for colours. And this is why I designed this book, to flick for colours. So I've snuck into the Ink 10 Sturwent pencils and nothing much has happened. So as long as you still work quite dry, you can get away with those. And um, I'm not sure what colour to start with. Probably um, that's going to be a cottage. I think that's a tree. So that doesn't, they don't want to be green. That's going to be a cottage. So that might be nice as a green because that lends itself to a cottage in the woods. So again, a little bit of a practice on there. So I've gone for... I can't read that one. What does that say? It says leaf green and it's 116 and it's the Derwent Ink Tense pencil. But it's scribbled. It's not neat. It's scribbled so it's a little bit muted. Um, and I think I'm just going to give that a little bit of a... Now I don't always get it right. It's, it's a bit it's a bit fiddly, especially at the angle I'm at at the moment, because obviously the ink tends doesn't run like the watercolours. But I can just get a fairly good amount of colour on there. And then I can kind of put some more low lights in. But like traditional watercolour, you can't take colour off. You could go in with a um, gouache if you wanted, but once this is on, the lightest colour needs to be on first, and then you put the low lights in, and it's a bit opposite. When I do oil painting, I go light, dark, light, dark, light, dark. Same with acrylics. Um, but with watercolours, it doesn't really work like that. You have to put your lightest colour, and then whatever goes on after that has got to be darker. Um, so it takes a bit of a practice. I mean, I, I quite like the idea you can kind of morph some darkness into this because it's a dark space. These are all kind of little nooks and crannies. They're not kind of out in the open. So you can you can get some quite nice effects. And there's some lovely dark shadows where these books are rounded spined rather than straight. So, of course, you're never going to get that perfect, are you? Can everybody see that? Okay. I am working to straight angle. I would normally work at that angle, actually. But I think that might drive people potty, I think. Maybe. Is that okay for everybody? It's slightly better for me. I just can't get a nice, I just can't get a nice angle on that. Um, and if you get a bit too wet, it's not brilliant, but see the ink tense you do tend to do that which is why I went back to the other but 
This is just a colour book. This is just a play. This is just a colour book. And of course that lends itself to some quite nice dark shades in there. So there's a little bit of a light, uh, highlight on there. There's a tiny bit of a highlight. I do have a bit of a line there which I don't like so I'm going to push that across and then that's got rid of that and made that naturally go there so you've got to do a bit of maneuvering a bit of playing but I'm happy with that and nothing which is why I love doing it like that so I want the big pot portion of the brush out and then I can show you what I waste I uh, just have to keep that off there because that does not want to be there. And that just makes it so easy. I've got two things to dunk and stroke into and that's it. No kind of messing about. Um, quite fancy a bit of a, a red behind there. So I'm going to go for deep vermilion number 14 in the Derwent pencils. And just have a bit of a... Again, a bit of a play. Is that going to be too bright? I can always dull it down, but what I can't do is make it brighter. But I'm particularly using dull, dulled colours, muted colours, because I think these books and this bookcase deserve that. But, you know, it's your colour book. And you can choose what colours you want. There's no reason why you can't put a red in there. Um, when you do the colour mixing, if you put some other colours in there. It's a little bit bright, is that, but it's fine. Did I answer, Dorothy? Did you see, did you get what, I say I pushed mine down. The photocopy isn't brilliant, as you see. It's, that's why it's a practice. Look, that's the photocopy. It's a bit blurred because I didn't want to damage the book. Um, the second time I did it, I managed to squish it down because that's a little puppet there. Um, but the first time, I didn't. And that's why it's blurred but again that doesn't matter that's a that's a pretend it's a photocopy it's not a pretend it's a practice sorry i can't speak today it's a practice so it didn't bother me that it was it was like that um so we could probably have a deep indigo number 36 next and i don't always test it but i do sometimes just just, just because i don't want to make such a big pig zero of it really and uh Sometimes the two of the books are the same, so you, I should have done those the same, probably. Because uh, in those days, books used to come in sets, ch especially children's books. Um, so that's got a, quite a nice little bit of blue on it. And then that's going to be darker, because although it's higher up, it's technically under the shelf. So you can do quite a lot with it. And I normally do that and then I'll go back in with the finer one. I shouldn't really play with the big one because you make a bit of a boo-boo. Because there's quite a bit of dampness. Well, that's, it's dry now, is that? But I mean, on the paintbrush, it's still damp. And um, I do tend to kind of waffle in and out of colours quite a lot. Um, so that was the cottage. So I think I might go for another green because I did like the idea of the cottage being... Um, surrounded in, in, in trees and of course I can make this into a green book now that's a little bit bright for me but never mind it's done now it's, it's, this is the watercolour pencil it's a, uh, mineral green so it's a little bit bright but um, I like to colour like this it's, I find it therapeutic I find it just uh, just nice to just play about and the only pressure on me is that squishy brush so that's quite nice uh, I'm a bit aware that 
I'm probably about two inches away from the microphone, so I do apologise if you can feel that you're being deafened. Um, this is quite nice to do, as I say, uh, on a tray, a cushion tray on my knee. Um, but you don't need that, that just because it raises it up a little bit for me. And I'm just stroking the, the colour of the pencil on the, on the actual, that's all I'm doing. And I'm just activating it back. Now normally I don't work all over, but just because this is a big brush I'm doing that. I normally start in a little corner, but because this lends itself to that, I'm doing that. And uh, just teasing out some highlights and low lights so that it looks like a little book. And uh, so I had a very pleasant day yesterday. I have to say, I'm going to get. I don't know why I've done that. But I'm going to get rid of that line, and I'll go back in a bit further down. Just basically got. That's what I'm doing with all of them. Is just getting the basic colour down, and then I can play with what's in there. Um, and probably have I think this is a bit bright but I'm going to go with it I think change my mind quite into this colour at the moment which is a warm russet violet. It's, it's called violet, don't ask me why, 108. Maybe I got that wrong. Um, in the Derwent Ink Tense Pencil. It's, I don't think it's a violet. But I'm sure it isn't a violet. And the only thing I've left is the... Um, see, I've got a little bit on there, but I could tease that out, I think. I've left the labels um, because I think I want to leave them to naturally be white I, I haven't decided yet but I think because I didn't like the colours that I did and I don't like the ones that Colin Thompson did either so I'm going to swap brushes because that's got a little bit fiddly and I've made a mistake well not made a mistake but I've just gone over there now this is ink tense so it probably won't come out but that's okay because I'll just do that book Um, I'll do that book a dark colour and that will instantly make that disappear. So there's ways around it if you do make a bit of a boo-boo. Um, so I, well, I didn't intend to do this, but I thought I might as well finish the page off. So now I need to go back to the big brush because I need um, um so they're not brilliant colours but it's a colour book. Once I once you see all the, all of them together, you're not going to notice that oh she's put that colour there. Ooh, I don't like that. Well <laughs> she's she famous last words. I hope that nobody says that. I'm going to go for this one actually because I don't like that one. I'm going for Peacock Blue which is 0820 because it's a lovely deep, deep blue. I've just realised I don't want a deep blue in there but yes we're going for it. As I say I'm just stroking the colour in, there's no pressure. I don't have to keep picking pens up, taking tops off. Um, the Derwent pencils are in a beautiful wooden box in trays but I'm sorry I can't be bothered to get them out of there. <laughs> if I had to I've tried when I when I'm colouring them looking for them and it drives me nuts just looking for them um now whether that's because I've got older and but I just love this easy easy way and I just can't express how easy it is 
and you learn you, what your paintbrush can do so much um, and I'm hoping there's going to be a difference as I go through the book and I'm hoping that there is going to be you know, a fair difference so what I'm trying to do is there is leave that highlight and I'm going to go back in here and kind of rejiggle this a little bit and then that's taking a lot of that colour out so when I go back to the top that's going to give me a really pale blue which is going to be a perfect highlight and I haven't had to mix the colour at all I've just got that lovely blue and that's another way that I love to do it is you know, I don't have to mix five blues I've got one blue I've got a paintbrush with some blue on it and I have um, some water and I am manipulating the colour with the water. Oh, puppy alert, I do apologise. Yes. So, um, again, that's something that I've only recently learned, well, I have used it when I made the book about four years ago. Um, but it, the book evolves. You might find that you use more of other things. You might find you don't like other things. Um, I don't know why there's an aardvark in the middle of that window, but hey ho. Um, but I, I, as I say, I, I kind of really like this way of working. It's especially when that's the only pressure on my finger, um, which is absolutely nothing. Which is wonderful if you've got poorly hands, I have to say. It's the most amazing thing if you've got ill hands and you cannot colour. So I've been using the deep cadmium, but I've been starting to use the gold. Because, um, and this is quite a big brush actually for this, but I can stroke this in. I would have done this with a smaller one, but I must admit I am a bit of a dab with fiddly things. And so I'm a bit of a dab with a fiddly paintbrush. Give me something big and I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. But uh, And while I'm here, I'm going to do these as well. They're not curtains, they're lit windows. So they're going to have a bit of a, a warm glow. And my husband's going to have a fit now. So, Nigel, apologies. Puppy alert, and uh, I'm still streaming, darling. Okay. Oops. Oh, Dee Dee's streaming. Right, I'm going to stop. Dee Dee's on. Okay, gang, thanks ever so much. Um, I might just... Uh, so it's half past one, so she's getting... <laughs> I don't know what time that is in America. Unless they've gone back to Greenwich Mean Time, and we haven't. Um, just bear with me two seconds. It's only a 20 minute, but never mind. I'll I'll finish this little page and I'll join everybody. So thanks for joining me, gang. And um, I'll be over there in a little while. I'll just finish this little bit off. Um, so this is a live stream for Bunny's Designs. And um, I'm just uh, kind of picking these little sections off in one go. Um, but uh, I hope you can see that. I'm just going to do this last page. So I think I want a bit of a warm pink onto there, maybe a purple, because it's, I can make it dirty. So I can dirty it up a bit later. As I say, you can't go lighter, but you can go darker. Um, and actually, that looks quite nice because that's under the stair and then the light's hitting it. So that's quite natural, that. Um, so. Uh, I'm just going to do that little door as well while I'm here and then I'm going to uh, but there is a couple of other streams on this there's a couple of other videos if anybody wants to watch um, I have done I have done this uh, so um, I do like the browns as well there's some really nice nut browns so you can vary the doors um, according to how you want to do so Thanks ever so much for uh, joining me and I hope everybody's found this a little bit interesting. I'll drop some darker in there later. 
but because I have a tiny amount on here um, I'm just going to pick the picket fence up and get that done as well and just gently because I don't want to get too far down because I want this to be the traditional watercolour um, burnt umber and so I'm going to tease that colour up into there rather than the other way around so that's just given that, that little bit of definition and there's a tiny bit of brown fawn on there as well because this colour gets lighter and lighter so if I just use that there that means I can come back into there and give that some really nice that's a thatched cottage because it's got the little so um, I'll just finish this and then uh, so I hope everybody's found this interesting it's a really nice calming way oh is it a raw sienna or do I want a straw see that's when I use my little pa paper oh that's quite nice I think that's almost straw isn't it that yes although thatch can be a bit yeah I've gone out the wrong way around um, it's like a palomino and a done isn't it um, yeah I'm going to change that I'm going to make the cottage a little cream cottage and I'm going to make so that's a little cream cottage and I'm going to make the uh, the thatch raw umber but it is a pencil and it's been muted so it's not a normal raw umber these are slightly muted because I'm using them off the uh, I'm using from there so hopefully that's looking a little bit better um, I'm going to pop it there with that yellow because the cottage is yellow as well the cottage has uh, I may have to uh, may have to stop the recording because with hubby home it's uh, it's rather noisy and we've got the puppies to sort and it's not going to be peaceful now so I'm just going to do this and then I'll I'll stop the video but there is th there is the other page on three videos and it's on Ustream if anybody's interested in watching how I do them page from page because uh, as I say uh, it does get a little bit noise around here when the world comes back to join me but uh, thank you for watching and uh, I hope you found that interesting and uh, if I just pull that out slightly you can see the difference you're not going to notice if you make a, a boo boo sorry my camera's just being a bit strange uh, so that's how we are so far on there um, so thank you for joining me and uh, I can't find my little mouse now. Thank you for joining me on Bunny Designs and um, thank you for watching.